Welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope everybody's having a good day. Um, so now this tutorial is basically going to be for me because I'm starting to dive into the object-oriented programming uh, part of Roblox a bit. So just in case I forget anything, um, this is going to help me remember some uh, some concepts. So basically this video is going to be on self, the self keyword, and uh, what it means in terms of um, working with tables and meta tables and uh, just object-oriented programming. Um, it's not going to go into the object-oriented programming, but just the keyword self. Uh, itself, no pun intended. I'll just get into it. So, self is basically just a keyword that um, is reserved for the object oriented programming. I'm um, shout out to this guy, by the way. Um, he also helped me understand this, so shout out to him. I'm going to leave a link down below to his uh, post. You guys can go check that out if you want to uh, read it for yourselves. Uh, but the keyword self uh, is it's reserved for object oriented programming, and the keyword self returns a table that calls a function uh, when the function is defined and called with the, the colon operator rather than the dot operator let's look at some examples okay so we have my table right and then let's say my table dot new function uh equals function right and then uh actually no yeah i think we can actually do that then we put a right right and then we do print a if we do my table and then new function right let me just double check yeah, so you see, if we do if we do my table that new function right like this, if we call the function like this, um, since we're calling with the colon operator, it's gonna pass in the my table as the first argument uh, of this function. That's why when we print a, let's let's run it down here in the command bar. That's why when we print a, it prints out the table, the entire table which has you know uh, new function as an index which is set equal to a function, right? That's why it prints out the table because the f the calling the function with the colon operator uh, makes the first argument uh, of this call the table itself. So that means the first parameter of this definition is going to be the table that calls it. Okay, but let's say that we set like we change the function definition and we make it uh, a colon instead of a dot operator. Uh, but when we do that, we have to make sure we bring the function keyword to the left side, and then we don't need the equal sign anymore. If we do this, right, what this does is that this basically does the exact same thing as the other one, but instead of having it set as the first parameter, it's going to set the whatever function that calls it to equal to the keyword self. So now self is going to take place of the first parameter here. So if I did print self, right, this is also going to, uh, let me clear this out, this is also going to uh, print the table. You see, um, the reason why this is uh, different is because let's let's say we actually wanted to pass in parameters. Let's say we wanted to pass in ten. Um, if we pass in ten, um, while we're calling it with the colon operator, this makes it so that the uh, the function definition can have this uh, parameter a equal to ten without it equaling to the actual table that calls the function. Because the table that calls the function will be reserved for the keyword self, if that makes sense. So now, if I did if I did print self and I did print a, uh, it's gonna print out ten. Right. See here that it prints out the table for us because that's what self is set equal to, since both the function call and the function parameter are are followed by the the colon operator. Right. This makes it so that we can call. Uh, we can store the the keyword self to the table that calls the function, and then because we don't have to have an extra uh, arg parameter over here, we can have the first parameter uh, be whatever argument that the function call passes it to. So that's why a is equal to ten. Um, yep. Yeah. Right. And let's say we have a function inside of my table. Uh, Actually, before the function, let's make let's make a uh, another value inside of my table. So let's say my table dot bag, right? And it's gonna be another table, and it's gonna have items such as apple, oranges, and then say grape, right? Cool. And now, now let's add a function that counts uh, the items in the bag. Okay. Um, let's say my table, my table uh, counts items, right? I'm gonna put function up here um, because we want to use the self keyword right this keyword we're gonna make sure we define this function with the colon operator instead of this operator so we're gonna find it with the colon operator instead of the dot instead of the dot operator okay 
so cool um and inside this function uh let's say this function this function counts how many items are in uh, are in a bag the bag right all right so say local number of items equals uh, zero then for uh, item in pairs i pairs self dot bag do num items dot value nope num items plus equals one and then we return num items right so now if we call this function with the colon operator right so we say my table and then count items uh we say print my table count items it's going to return how many items are inside the bag i'm uh, if we run this i'm going to run this uh i'm going to copy and run uh, copy paste and run this inside of the uh the command bar we can see that um we got three items right here right let me make this a bit more clear number of of items and then i'm going to do that right so if i paste this in here we see the number of items is three so let me explain what this does so basically when you call a function from a table using the colon operator right it's gonna it's gonna pass in the table that ca that's calling the function as the first argument okay but since we define this function with the colon operator up here it's gonna instead of making the first argument the table that calls the function it's gonna set the keyword self to equal the table that calls a function so let me uh, let me give you a better example of that but that's the reason why we're able to do self.bag because self.bag basically just means that we're doing my table dot bag okay but let me give you a better visual of what i mean so basically uh in conclusion in conclusion uh, self takes place of the first parameter of a function if that function is defined with the colon operator and the table calling the function or the function call itself is also followed by a colon operator so that's what self is um if that helped you uh leave a like down below and a comment down below if it, if it didn't help you you're confused about some point in the video uh, let me know down below in the comments as well i'm going to post a probably i'm probably going to post a better example in the comments as a paste bin uh, just for myself and anyone else that's also interested because I tend to forget things, so that's why I'm making this video. Just in case I do forget, I can just go back to my own video and check it out. And at the same time, I can be helping out whoever also needs help understanding the, this concept. Okay, thank you guys for watching, and have a good day.